Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And as we look at the weather patterns, still have the upper level ridge of high pressure, which is centered off the east coast, but does still extend across the southeastern quarter of the country. Uh, this is the reason for the dry weather that we've had recently and why we will not see a whole lot of rain probably in, through tomorrow, but we will see changes on the way for the weekend. Let's show you what that, uh, uh, when that takes place here with Robin's Toyota Futurecast. And you can see that tonight. Uh, we will once again see a mostly clear sky with a few low clouds late tomorrow. Mix of clouds and sunshine. That spotty shower will be possible, but not a whole lot of coverage indicated here with Futurecast. So most locations will stay dry. Tomorrow night we'll see a clear to partly cloudy sky. And then Saturday, notice the increase in the coverage of those scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. That activity will weaken and come to an end Saturday evening. And then we'll do it all over again, more than likely, as we go through Sunday. In fact, take Futurecast out even further here. And uh, you can see that uh, Saturday night we will see uh, basically a chance for more rain redeveloping. And then Sunday, more scattered showers and thunderstorms will redevelop across the region. That activity will decrease and shift a bit more to the south Sunday night. And then Monday, we'll continue with a pretty good shot for some rain across the area. Rainfall wise, it does look like a good solid inch uh, can be expected here as what's going to happen is eventually we will see a weakness kind of settle into the middle of the country and you can kind of see that here uh, with the low itself centered off to our north but you can see how this does kind of sit across the middle of the country and it's going to take a while for this to move on off towards the east and once it does so we will see upper level high pressure once again develop along the Gulf Coast and that should uh, start to lessen our chance for rain uh, heading into the last half of next week. As I mentioned pretty good uh, amount of rain will be a possibility. Models of fairly good agreement that a, a, an inch of rain from now through the next 10 days should be a reasonable expectation. This model uh, showing perhaps several locations receiving a bit less, but it does look like the best chances for the heavier totals will be across the northern part of the region. So as far as the tropics are concerned, we still have a tropical depression Fred that I'll show you here in a second. There's another disturbance behind Fred, which likely will become a, a tropical depression here in the next few days. It does appear as if, as if it's going to take the same path as Fred and uh, basically very well could maintain the same strength. It's not set in stone as to exactly how much the system will develop, but it's worth watching heading through the next week to 10 days. Here's the latest on Fred and no significant changes from yesterday. Uh, it'll be hard pressed to develop into a, a tropical storm until probably late tomorrow. And then uh, conditions over the eastern Gulf of Mexico forecast to be more conducive, so some strengthening is expected as it approaches the northwestern Florida coast late Sunday night into Monday morning. And this path still means that we will not see any impact here at home. What we can expect at home for tonight and tomorrow is almost a carbon copy of today. As your forecast looks like this, we will see a clear to partly cloudy sky tonight with the lows in the middle 70s, including 76 in both Texarkana and Shreveport. That spotty shower will be a slight possibility tomorrow, maybe a little bit better chance over the southern sections of the area as high as tomorrow once again pretty close to normal in the middle 90s including 96 in Shreveport and 94 degrees for the high temperature in uh, uh, Texarkana. 10-day uh, forecast shows that uh, we will see temperatures ease as the rain increases and that upper level ridge finally gets wiped out as we will see highs retreat to the low 90s basically Sunday and Monday and then we'll kind of recover back into that 93-94 degree range for the rest of next week and next weekend. Nighttime lows will stay in the mid 70s. You can see the rainfall chances highest this weekend and Monday will decline somewhat heading through the rest of next week. So all in all, it looks like the end of our heat wave is in sight as the chance of rain increases as we head into the weekend.